Okay, so this is the way the house looks at the road. And here comes a car down the street. lots of concrete here to park on. Up by the house you have a little apron that you could easily put a carport on. This is a little water feature. And you've got your wheelchair accessible entrance. The nice front porch. The um, veneer is a real nice touch. You can't see that. So this is what it looks like from the front door. You have to notice the way it sounds. The roof is new, but this is what you see when you walk in. It's got the high ceilings. It's very, 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 very open and bright. You have your big island with the electric cooktop. And I believe these are the ones, it's a Gen Air, so that should come up. Just not on. We must have unplugged it. Your see-through cabinets. Tile countertops. There's a little window here, and it goes out into the sunroom, so you could set up a little bar out there, I'll show you. The counters, double oven. Nothing there. Refrigerator goes there. This is the screened-in porch. Really, 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 really nice to have. Because you can just hang out here and effervesce. So here's the little kitchen window. You set a bar over here in this little area. And you can just pass right through to the kitchen sink. That's your little well house there. The peacocks quit making noise. You could use this for your pantry area. They're obviously using it for storing records. We have another patio door here. Minus the patio. But you could build a nice deck to go straight out to the garage, which we'll be visiting shortly. All the doorways are huge, the handicap size. Um, walk in shower. Built in cabinet. Those are built in. Might be a piece of furniture. 
not 100% sure. It looks like they need to um, put trim at the bottom of here. There's no trim in the bathroom. So here is the master bedroom. So that's the bathroom we just left. Going into the master bedroom. The shades are drawn. If you have the four windows. And then this goes out to the screen in porch. So this is the closet. And here's something interesting that you just don't see in every house. Your washer and dryer are in the master bedroom because that's where your dirty clothes are. So you take them off, you throw them in the washing machine. When it's full, you turn it on. There's the master bath. Walk in shower. I don't know what's in there because it's locked. Okay. Here's your guest bedrooms. I'm wearing tennis shoes today, can you tell? And the last bedroom. And these are um, these aren't fogged, they've got the coating on them that you can just peel off if you didn't want them that way. In a closet. So that's kind of the house part. I mean, the house is really simple. So, let's go to the shop. That right there is your aerobic septic system. See, this is a lot of concrete. Man, concrete's expensive. And it's in good shape. So these doors, Right here, they open. You got one padlock. So if you wanted to put your RV in the shop, there you go. Looks like it has got some wood rot up there that would need to be addressed. And you could park your cars in here, too. Okay, going in. Lots of workspace. You've got a boat in here and still plenty of room. We 
have a hose. So there's water out here. Lots of electricity. Now you could finish this out and make a party room out of it. And still have room to uh, do your thing. Got 220 out here. So, like I said, the shop is the best I've seen for y'all. That's the doors. So they're framed pretty good to open. Did you hear the peacock a second ago? That weird noise, that's what it was. Okay. So about wraps it up. There is no fence on, I think, two sides. There's one in the back, there's one on the right side. But you'd need to fence maybe around the house for the dogs. Um, we'll see what you think of it. Then we'll figure out how to solve problems. <laughs>